Welcome to part two of this DIY filing cabinet makeover. At last, the first coat is complete. There was a little bit of dripping here. I'm gonna have to do a second coat. But I have to say, overall, I'm really happy with how the filing cabinet has turned out. I still need to put the wheels on and I'm gonna obviously let it dry and the hardware, which as you know, I painted gold and I'm gonna just pop these back on now. So to put the wheels on, you're gonna lie it on its side. Put it on something soft so that you don't scratch it. I've been using an old towel. This is really not ideal. I should have used cardboard. Underneath, we've already marked the holes before we sprayed it. So you're just gonna line up your wheels like I've done here. And it's really pretty simple, Not nothing technical about this. Just push the screws through and you get your washer and just stick it on the back of the, of the screw or the bolt and then get your nut and just screw it on. I don't think there's anything simpler than this. And before you know it, your wheels are on and just repeat. You'll need 16 nuts and bolts to finish this part of the project. And I regret not putting them a little closer to the edge, but I didn't want to have to reach in too far to get the nuts and bolts on. So, and that's it. To get the mat finished, I used a rust preventative enamel and this worked quite well. It did, in the end, come out matte once it dried. It did go on a little bit shiny, but overall, I'm really happy with it. And here we are with our finished product. Hardware's on, paint is dry, we're looking really good, and wheels are on. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this was a lot of fun for me. This is our before, what we started with. And this is our inspiration. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I would definitely do it again. So I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more videos, ring the bell. Thanks. Bye.